Nu den, the thing in a pre-calculator age, would have had to perform Newton's method by hand. There's really no reason you do that in this day and age, except to ensure that we understand the algorithm. Say that we wanted to solve this problem using Newton's method. Now, Newton's method requires a guess. So we should have some idea of what we're looking for. Here's the curve. Here's the root we're looking for. Here's one. Here's two. This root is pretty close to 1.5. So let's use 1.5 as our initial guess. Let's see. To use Newton's method, we need p of x, which was given to us. We are going to need the derivative as well. Our next value is going to be our initial guess of 1.5 minus p of 1.5 divided by p prime of 1.5. So this is very plug and play. I'm not going to do this on screen. I mean, I'm not going to bring up a calculator, but we plug 1.5 into this, into this, do the division, do the subtraction. 1.4167. And now we're going to repeat this process, except instead of using 1.5x0, we are going to use x1, which we just found. So we're going to take this and stick it in there, and there, and there. And we get 1.414257. If we want x3, we repeat this process. Except instead of this number, we are now using this number. And at this point, you might be wondering, how long are we going to have to do this? How do we know when it's time to stop? We'll stop Newton's method when these guesses stop changing. And as a matter of fact, that is going to start happening right now. Well, 
when we plug this number in, what we get back is 1.414 Two one three six. Now, this number and this number aren't actually identical. I should clarify that I've been rounding, but up to seven decimal places, these are the same. And once that happens, once you no longer see a difference up to whatever you're rounding to, Newton's method has concluded, and this is our answer. Is this answer any good? Well, the answer we're looking for, I mean, we can actually solve this without using Newton's method. We are looking for the square root of two. So is this close? to the square root of two. The square root of two is 1.414213356. So we were accurate up to this decimal. Let me see up to the seventh decimal place. And that's, I mean, that's pretty impressive, especially after so few iterations of Newton's method. Um, Newton's method can run into problems. You know, it involves division by the derivative, for example. So if the derivative is going to be zero or close to zero, that would be an issue. But, what, but Newton's method usually works, and it usually works extremely well, which is what we saw in this example.